the word defibrillator for today, where we trust in God for a word from within the word. A friend of mine said, Sean, play to win. Play to win. But here's the thing. Are you going to win? What happens if you don't win? Well, you see, here's the exciting thing. Your value is before the race, not because of the race. And if we go into Scripture, 1 Corinthians, and that's 9.24, we'll go um, just a little bit back. Um, let's say verse 21. To those without outside law, I became as one without law. Not that I'm without the law of God and lawless towards him, but I am especially keeping within and committed to the law of Christ, that I might win those who are without law. To the weak or wanting in discernment, I have become weak, wanting in discernment, that I might win the weak and over scrupulous. I have, in short, become all things to all men, that I might by all means, at all costs, and in every way, save some by winning them to faith in Jesus Christ. Sure. That's a difficult one, because sometimes we have to step down a little to meet people where they're at, and sometimes we need to up our game, and we need to step up a little. You know, we go, oh God, you will bring them to me. No, we need to go to them. We're not of this world, but we're in it, and we need to do things with excellence, that if we need to reach those kind of people, we might need to up our game. So we can't just kind of rely on God showing up for us. He doesn't do, well, that's my personal opinion, but I, he doesn't always do miracles on that which can be done by muscle. So we become all things. What is it that you need me to be? We don't step out of the law, as he's saying here. And I do this for the sake of good news, the gospel, in order that I may become a participator in it and share in its blessings along with you. And that's a call for us not to be spectators in this. We need to be participators. And this is where the race comes into it. A lot of times we don't want to run the race because we know there's only one winner. And what happens if it's not us? And then we're a failure because we didn't win, right? No, wrong. Verse 24, do you not know that in a race all the runners compete? So if there's 20 people in that race, they all compete. But only one receives the prize. So run your race in brackets, that you may lay hold of the prize and make it yours. You see, it is your race. You're running against you. You're running for you. Run your race as if to win. But the outcome is not dependent on you, or your value is not found in the outcome. Sure, a lot of times it's a lot easier just to let the other person win because, my word, if you win, they moan and they complain. And what happens if you win and, well, there's got to be a loser. So if you get into the race and you know you've got what it takes, you and I both know. The world thinks, oh, you're so fantastic, but we both know that you're only operating at about 60%. There's so much more to you and so much more within you. Sometimes you're waiting for others. Sometimes you use others because we're actually waiting for you. Timing is important. But in all this, you need to know that on your heart, towards God, and he will know your heart. Are you giving it your everything? He says, run the race as if to win. It's your race. Give it your best shot. Really do. I have Olympic friends where... They will do a race, and I say, how did it go? And they go, oh, it didn't go so well. And then I get a photograph from the spouse of all the gold medals in it that they got from that meeting. And it's like, and now? No, no, no. I don't run for the medal. I don't even run to win. I run to be the best that I can be. And that day, I wasn't the best. I might have been better than others, but I wasn't better than me. You see, we are called to run our race. Do you not know that in a race, all runners compete but only one receives the prize. So run your race that you may lay hold of the prize and make it yours. Now, every athlete who goes into training conducts himself temperately and restricts himself in all things. They do it to win a wreath. That will soon wither. 
but we do it to receive a crown of eternal blessedness that cannot wither. Now we've been talking about how we will be everything to those around us so that we can win one for Christ. If you're following your purpose and your destiny, people are going to come to know Jesus Christ. By word or by deed. And you're sowing that seed based out of your life. Wherever you may be, even if you're that person that makes the tea or the coffee. Therefore, I do not run uncertainly without definite aim. I do not box like one beating the air and striking with, a, with an adversary. But like a boxer, I buffet my body, handle it roughly, discipline it by hardships. Can you say no to cakes? Can you say no to cigarettes? Can you say no to gossiping? But like a boxer, I buffet my body, handling it roughly, disciplining it by hardships and subdue it. For fear that after proclaiming to others the gospel and things pertaining to it, I myself should become unfit, not stand the test, be approved and rejected as a counterfeit. My word, how many coaches have I seen through past glory that get a coaching position? And then you see what they're screaming and shouting out at the students or the athletes that they're training and you look at them and their bodies aren't even conditioned. If we're supposed to be leading by example, isn't the coach supposed to be that example? And that's why kids want to do it. I want to be like you. Or are they saying to us, I want to be like what you used to be? Because who you are now? Mm. Sometimes people might look at us and say, well, thanks for getting us. Yeah, but it looks like you're not coming with me. Are you strong enough? Are you healthy enough for what comes before you? We want to run with the horses. But we can't even keep up with the foot soldiers. I know for me, from now on, I'm going to do whatever it takes to be able to get in the race, to be able to participate and not spectate, and just do it to win. The outcome is not up to me. I'm really a gold medalist, so I must run as one, as if I'm going to win it. Lord, we thank you for this word. We thank you that we do what we do for the sake of the good news in order that we may become a participator in it and share in its blessings along with you and everybody else. Heavenly Father, we thank you for those blessings. We thank you for the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you that he is our gauge. And Lord Jesus, we thank you for your submission to the will of the Father that we too can be here, blessed and anointed. We thank you for your grace, your mercy. We thank you for that courage. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you continually just minister to us. Helping us understand whose we are. And that in the Father, in the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we've got this. If God be for us, we don't have a problem. We thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah.